Well, in Hawaii, we are fortunate compared to the Japanese Americans or the Japanese on the mainland. They lost their homes, lost their business, they lost everything. All they, they could carry to the internment camps. They lost everything. In Hawaii, complete different. We didn't lose anything at all. One thing, my oldest brother in 1940, there was a contest in Hawaii for in Japanese. And he was a real good orator in English and Japanese. And he won first prize in Hawaii. And the prize was a trip to Japan. And he didn't want to go because my father had died earlier. So he was the oldest of the family. But we urged him to go. So he did go to Japan in 1940. And when he went to Japan, they sent him to China, Manchuria, all the different places. So when the war started in 1941, the FBI came to our house, turned the house upside down. And several months later, they interned him. So he was at a camp at the, uh, in Hono, in Hono Uli, Uli <laughs> in, the, in Hawaii. But he was there for only about 10 or 11 months. Luckily, he was transferred to the mainland. So he was in Hawaii. But uh, that had to cause mixed feelings oh, for you? Uh, for me, yes. And, but interestingly, I was here. No, I was at the language school and here, and my brother was interned. 